The Infinite Monkey Theorem suggests that given an infinite amount of time, a monkey randomly hitting keys on a typewriter would eventually produce every possible string of text, including the complete works of William Shakespeare. This theorem applies to any sequence of events with a non-zero probability of occurring. The term almost surely refers to the probability being one. Despite being a metaphorical device, this theorem has been used to illustrate statistical mechanics the probability of typing a specific word on a typewriter with randomly pressed keys, such as banana, increases as the number of keystrokes approaches infinity. It is almost certain that the word will appear in an infinite sequence of keystrokes. The theme of the story is the probability of monkeys randomly typing the complete text of Hamlet or any other document. The first and second theorem suggest that any given finite string almost surely occurs as a substring or a prefix of an infinite string of infinite sequences, respectively. However, for physically meaningful numbers of monkeys typing for physically meaningful lengths of time, the results are reversed even with an infinite number of monkeys typing randomly for trillions of times the life of the universe, the probability of them replicating a single page of Shakespeare is unfathomably small. The probability of typing the entire text of Hamlet is so vanishingly small that it is practically zero even if every proton in the observable universe were a monkey typing from the Big Bang until the end of the universe, they would still need an exponentially greater amount of time to have even a small chance of success. In other words, the probability of Hamlet or any document is practically zero in any operational sense of an event. The hypothetical scenario of a monkey randomly typing on a typewriter with 90, equally likely keys that include numerals and punctuation, has been widely discussed in academic circles. The probability of the monkey typing a specific sequence of four characters is the same as any other sequence of the same length, and as the length of the string approaches infinity, the probability of typing a specific sequence approaches zero the same principle applies to the monkey typing an endless sequence of digits of pi or Shakespeare's Hamlet. While the probability of the monkey typing a specific infinite sequence is essentially zero, the probability that the sequence contains a particular subsequence increases as the string length approaches infinity in a simplified version of the experiment. If the monkey had a typewriter with only two keys producing a binary string, the corresponding real number would fall between 0 and 1, and a countably infinite subset of these strings would include the entirety of Hamlet. The theme of the story is the incredible improbability of a large but finite number of monkeys working for a large but finite amount of time producing a significant work in its comparison to physical events which are even more improbable. In Emile Borel's article Mechanique Statistique et Irreversibilite and his book Le Hazard, he uses the metaphor of dactylographic monkeys to explain an imaginary way to produce a large, random sequence of letters Borel states that even if a million monkeys type 10 hours a day, it is highly unlikely that their output would exactly equal all the books of the world's richest libraries. On the other hand, the laws of statistical mechanics would never be violated, even briefly Arthur Eddington further elaborates the concept, comparing the probability of monkeys typing all the books in the British Museum to the chance of molecules returning to one half of the vessel. The author emphasizes that any physical process that is even less likely than the monkey's success is effectively impossible Jorge Luis Borges traces the concept of infinite monkeys back to Aristotle's metaphysics and shows that the idea was about the improbability of random events in general. Borges imagines the contents of the total library that a half dozen immortal monkeys provided with typewriters would produce if carried to its fullest extreme. Jorge Luis Borges' The Library of Babel revolves around the concept of a vast and incomprehensible library that contains every possible book. This theme is explored further in a 2002 project where monkeys were given a keyboard to see if they could produce literature. The results were unsuccessful and even comical, with the monkey showing some level of intention but only managing to produce a few pages of the letter S. The monkey antipriter trope has been used in arguments over evolution, with some arguing that intentional communication is necessary for the creation of complex information such as DNA. However, evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins uses the concept to demonstrate the potential for natural selection to produce complexity through randomness ultimately. The idea of a limitless library and the limitations of animal communication highlight the vastness and mysteries of the universe. The analogy of a typing monkey is often used when discussing the production of literature or the evolution of ideas. 
However, the constraints placed on the monkey greatly affect the likelihood of producing a particular outcome. For instance, the classic monkey's task of typing out Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet is only possible with a non-random, Darwinian type selection, which preserves any matching letters. Nevertheless, as Hugh Petrie argues, to truly explore the analogy between evolution and an unconstrained monkey, a more sophisticated setup is required, one that includes whole Elizabethan sentences and thoughts, beliefs about human action patterns and causes, morality, science, and linguistic patterns though James W. Valentine acknowledges the impossibility of the classic monkey's task, he finds that there is a useful comparison between the structure of written English and the genome in contrast, Art G. Collingwood and Nelson Goodman disagree on whether or not art can be produced by accident or if it requires deliberate intent. For Goodman, the production of a literary work, like Don Quixote, is not limited to the author's manuscript but includes any replica or copy produced, even one generated by infinitely many monkeys. The theme of the article is the mathematical concept of probability, specifically the infinite monkey theorem. This concept suggests that given an infinite amount of time, a monkey randomly hitting keys on a typewriter could eventually produce the works of Shakespeare. However, despite efforts to replicate this experiment through computer programs, the practicality of this theorem is limited due to the massive amount of time and resources required the article also touches upon the use of random number generators to simulate random text, and the popularity of the infinite monkey theorem as a cultural reference. A famous quote attributed to Robert Wilinski emphasizes the impracticality of this theory in the age of the internet. In 2015, Balanced Software launched Monkey Typewriter on the Microsoft Store, which is a software employing the infinite monkey theorem string formula to generate random text. The software also allows a user to enter phrases and search for them within the generated text. Nevertheless, it should be noted that this is not a scientific model for generating text randomly but a practical application of the theory the theme of the story is how a software company's innovative creation applies a theory in practical ways, rather than demonstrating a scientific model.